trying to let it go. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And you should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything. And Duck could have been bitten. Sure. I guess. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. The pills are in there. Damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. I can't. 
can't think about them in here. This door leads to the back alley. Lieutenants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. There's nothing I need in here. How you doing? Okay. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. 
Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Lee? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Well, never mind. It's nothing. Let's, uh, head back to the others. your finger, Clem. Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Hey there. This is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until...